2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ told his disciples to consider the mustard seed. Although it is among the smallest of all seeds, it grows into one of the greatest garden plants, so that the birds of the sky may come and nest in its branches. That mustard seed is a lot like the story of Coach's Outreach. The vision to serve coaches through the Word in marriage retreats began through a simple Bible study with little more than a dozen coaches and a weekend retreat together with their wives. But before God would bring life to this vision, He would change the life of one athlete named Tommy Maxwell. From his days with the baby Oilers, God had blessed Tommy with speed and coordination. At Jones High School in Houston, he excelled on his high school football team, leading him to Texas A&M, where he played safety and wide receiver and became an All-American under coach Gene Stallings, later a coach for the Dallas Cowboys. More importantly, while at A&M, Tommy came to know and trust Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. He also met a young lady named Janice from Baylor, who would later become his bride. Both the Lord and Janice would bring profound blessing into his life. After graduation, Tommy played in the NFL for seven years for the Colts, Raiders, and Oilers, under coaching greats such as Don Shula, John Madden, and Bum Phillips. The rigors and relationships of professional football tested his faith and convictions as never before. When the Lord led Tommy off the playing field, he led him into the pastoral field. To prepare for this new endeavor, Tommy attended Dallas Theological Seminary. His pastoral work in the Austin area led him into a relationship with Tommy Cox, a local high school coach, who in 1985 asked him to lead a Bible study at the Texas High School Coaches Association. In leading a Bible study specifically prepared for coaches, God had placed that little seed thought in the right soil and began watering. Maxwell had run into a man whose son played under Coach Cox. The man told Tommy that he literally owed his son's life to the Christian leadership that Coach Cox provided. Maxwell began thinking, how can we do more so that kids can be impacted by that kind of coaching? In 1990, after several years of enjoying their time in God's Word, these 18 coaches invited their wives to a weekend getaway. It would later be recognized as the first marriage retreat. In 1991, after their second retreat, 40 coaches and their wives commissioned Tommy to serve other coaches and their wives in the same way. The little mustard seed began to take root. Following this vision, the ministry grew to the point where Tommy prayed and diligently asked what the Lord desired for him. In 1997, he left his work, then at Dallas Seminary, to pursue this vision full-time and begin a ministry called Coaches Outreach. That decision to follow the Lord changed his life and allowed that little root to grow and give life. Over time, Coaches Outreach recruited and utilized lay leaders, everyday believers who volunteer to love on coaches. These lay leaders, provided with a self-contained playbook, meet weekly with their coaches to study God's Word verse by verse. As they study, these men and women apply biblical truths to their coaching lives. In turn, they impact hundreds of thousands of kids. Today, 20 years after formally becoming a nonprofit ministry, hundreds of lay leaders meet with over 5,000 coaches every week throughout the school year. Even more coaches have attended Coaches Outreach sponsored marriage retreats, where their marriages have been blessed, helped, and in many cases every year salvaged from ruin. Through these two primary ministries, studying God's Word and staying strong in marriage, God has used Coaches Outreach to bless thousands of coaches, their spouses, families, athletes, schools, and entire communities. Well done, Tommy. Well done.